prayer wins. Do you believe that? Yes. Prayer always and always wins. And so we will not give up. We will not give up on our husbands. We will not give up on our children. We will not give up on situations. Even when they seem so difficult, it seems as though we cannot overpower them. We will still keep on keeping on. And on this note, let me see if this is which. Hello. Hello. On this note, I want to say thank you to our mothers. Thank you to every lady here. Thank you for accepting to be a woman. Though we cannot change it. Some people always have this notion of, I wish I was something else. One of the most beautiful experiences any woman can ever have in your entire life is to be a woman, is to be a mother, is to care for a child. It, it can be also so very much stressful. Because we handle different aspects of life. You help your husband, you raise children, you are so many things at the same time. Mothers are the foundations of the home. They are teachers, medical care providers, even when you are not a doctor, you are no nurse. Yet, you are a medical service provider, as a woman. We are teachers, aren't we? Yes. Even when teachers teach our children in the school, they come back and we still must teach them. We teach them basic things, apart from the academic work that we help them with. We teach our children to have a good sense of morality. We teach them to say, please, we teach them to say thank you. The basic things of life are taught by mothers most of the time. We are cooks, aren't we? We also cook for our children. And when and our, and our spouses, if we are married, we cook for even our siblings if we are living in the house with them. Sometimes we cook for people we do not know. We show a lot of care. We are role models. And this is where I need to speak to people who think Mother's Day is not for them. The fact that you didn't give birth or you have never given birth to a child doesn't mean you are not a mother. You may be a role model to somebody somewhere. Sometimes they tell you, other times they do not tell you. But secretly, you are being admired. You are being a mother to somebody unknowingly. And never think when Mother's Day is mentioned, you are nobody at all. There are a whole lot of people looking up to you, though they may not be your children. A few may come up one day and then tell you, then you realize how much of a mom you've been to somebody. And so we need to get it right. Early to bed, early to rise. Your children will even check on you to see if you are obeying the things that you teach them. Whether it is true you are an early riser or not. Whether you, you, you only tell them, you preach virtue and practice what? Vice. So we are role models. We show them to be Christ-like by the very lives we lead to. And we are industrious people. Mothers are industrious. My mother was a teacher, but at the same time, a businesswoman. We learned to do other things to help raise our families. We do a whole lot of things and engage in many businesses that ordinarily men may not be able to do. We are hospitable. Whenever visitors are in the home, 
It is the mothers that they look up to. When there is no food, it is the mother that they look up to. The patience, the care, the love, the correction, the discipline that we always give tells everybody around us that women are indeed needed everywhere. Move to any part of the world. It is not only men that make it happen. Women are making it happen. We are making it happen big time. And on this note, on behalf of myself, on behalf of all ladies of Substance International Network members, on behalf of our brothers, the Bozen brothers, I want to say I salute you. I salute every woman. I salute every mother. Amen. I salute mothers of physically challenged children. Amen. We salute them. Amen. It is not easy to, to have a physically challenged child. It seems as though they draw you back. But God has great reward for these people. Amen. We salute single mothers. We salute single mothers. Amen. Mothers who have raised children with no help from males. Whether it is through divorce or whatever means or however it happened. These are women who are doing a young man's job. Lozen also salutes Widows, amen. amen. Widows, mothers who have raised children without husbands because death snatched their dear ones from them. We salute them. And we salute all lady pastors, amen. amen. I cannot leave that one up, out. Women who have done so well in ministry. We want to salute Every mother who has taken care of children other than their own. Amen. 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 We salute such mothers who took that great step of parenting other people's children. Whether they were your husband's children, he brought from outside. When you were so unhappy about you accepted to take care of those children, God will reward you in due course. Whether you brought them from the village or distant family members and you, you, you obeyed the voice of God and took care of those children, those same children will rise up and call you blessed. Amen. No matter the difficulty we've been through, we, we thank God for making us women. We are special. Don't you believe it? The last to be created. And that is why today we dedicate our service to mother, motherhood, to all mothers. Me mama yiko loz informa. Amen. Amen. I want to end this by by telling you or just quoting scripture, according to Proverbs thirty-one verse ten. May your children rise up. May your children arise up and call you blessed. Amen. And your husband also. Amen. I pray that even if he's like that one we watched, he will come back home. Amen. He will come back home and take charge of his home. Amen. Like the husband we saw in one room, he will come back. Amen. Keep on being on your knees all the time. May they come and praise you. Amen. Many daughters have done virtuously, but you excel them all. Amen. Favor is deceitful, and beauty is vain. But a woman that fears the Lord, she shall be praised. Amen. We celebrate you, mothers, Amen. and we say, may God grant you long life. Amen. May God keep you going stronger and stronger. May God bring you more children you can take care of. Amen. May the Lord reward you physically, Amen. spiritually, financially, Amen. and in every aspect of your life. Amen. Enjoy good health as a woman of God. Amen. Enjoy good health as a mother. Amen. Enjoy peace on all sides. Amen. Even as you endure the pain and the joys of motherhood. Amen. May the Lord bless us all. In Jesus' name. Happy Mother's Day in advance. Amen. Amen. God bless you.